stargazers may be in for the viewing party of a lifetime this weekend. One of the most active and impressive meteor showers is taking place. It happens when the crescent moon is barely illuminated. Officials believe dozens of meteors will zoom through the sky every hour. People living in the northern hemisphere will have the best viewing opportunities. With me now is Dennis Vida, a Western University postdoctoral associate in the Department of Physics and Astronomy. Hi there. Good to see you. Hey, how's it going? So first of all, describe what makes this meteor shower this weekend potentially so spectacular. What's going to be going on? Yeah, so the Perseids uh, are one of the best meteor showers that you can uh, observe. They usually happen in mid-August. They happen every year. However, this year, uh, the moon is not going to be in the sky because the new moon happens just a few days afterwards. So um, it's going to be nice and dark. And as long as you go outside somewhere outside the city um, to seek some dark skies and the weather is good, uh, you should be able to see... Uh, one meteor a minute, one pretty nice bright meteor uh, a minute, and the darkest it is, uh, the better. And also make sure to spend about 10 minutes in darkness. Don't look at your phone, don't look at anything bright. It takes about 10 minutes for your night vision to turn on, and it's really easy to lose it if you look at something very bright. And I, and I read that it, it's best around 4.30 in the morning, is that right? Absolutely. So early in the evening on Saturday night, you should be able to see about one every two minutes, but the rates are going to increase to about one uh, every minute or even more um, early in the morning. So the longer you wait, the better it's going to be. How can we predict that these showers are going to occur every year? So uh, here at Western, in collaboration with NASA, uh, we have a long-standing program of monitoring meteor showers, and we actually make models to predict meteor shower activity. We literally call it space weather, and it's really important for us uh, to do that because uh, NASA uses this information uh, and feeds that into spacecraft uh, operational um, uh, to operationally move spacecraft and make sure that astronauts don't go outside during uh, some, some large meteor shower activity. Otherwise, uh, astronauts might suffer from a meteorite impact, which can be fatal. Okay. Aside from astronauts, which most of us aren't, are there any dangers around these meteor showers? Anything that we should be concerned about here on Earth? So on Earth directly, we cannot be impacted by these small meteors. These are not big asteroids. Uh, however, we all rely on satellite infrastructure. And it's extremely important to keep the satellite infrastructure running. Otherwise, we may face major disruptions here on Earth. And that's why we want to make sure that these uh, little dust particles that fly so fast and their energies are so high, they're like little bullets. Uh, they don't impact satellites and affect our lives here on Earth. Dennis Vida, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me.